my channel. I'm so happy you could join me here again for another workout. Today we're going to be doing a leg and glute workout from home. Obviously because of everything going on with the coronavirus, we're not going to be working out in a gym for the next little bit. So I will be filming my at-home workouts and posting them for you to help motivate you and to help give you an idea of how to work out when you're at home. All of that being said, go ahead and like this video as well as subscribe to my channel. And if you've done both of those, go ahead and click that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another workout with me again. All of that being said, let's get right into the workout. Okay, we're going to start this workout off using a resistance band. What you want to do is step onto the resistance band. You want to hold either side of the resistance band in each of your hands and you want to do a Romanian. So keep a slight bend in your knee. You're going to hinge with your hips, pushing them back towards the wall behind you. And then you're going to bring your hips forward as you bring your chest up and really squeeze those glutes at the top. After you do that for 30 seconds, what you're going to do is bring the resistance band up onto your shoulders and you're going to do a squat for 30 seconds straight. You don't have to do this with a resistance band, that is optional. After that, you're going to do a sumo squat for 30 seconds straight with a resistance band, and then you're going to get down to a 90 degree bend in your knees and hold that position for 30 seconds straight. to up and overs into fire hydrants. So what you wanna do is have the resistance band at your knees, you're going to be on all fours, keep your stomach tight, and you wanna lift your one foot up in the air, tap the floor over the other foot that's on the floor and bring it back to the other side and tap the floor for 30 seconds straight. Then you're gonna move straight into fire hydrants. So you're just going to lift your knee out to your side as if you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. <laughs> to clamshell lifts for 20 seconds into clamshells on the floor for 20 seconds. You want the resistance band around your knees and as you do the clamshell, you wanna lift your hips off the floor by pushing through that knee that's on the floor. After that, you're just gonna do regular clamshells where you're just opening with one leg for 20 seconds. Next, we are doing kickback. 
backs for 30 seconds into kick ups for 30 seconds. So you wanna be on all fours, your knees and your hands. You want the resistance band around your feet and you're going to kick straight back, squeezing through your glute. After you do that for 30 seconds, you wanna go onto your elbows and you wanna kick your foot up towards the ceiling for 30 seconds. Moving on to glute bridges with abduction, you want to do 30 seconds of this. Have a resistance band just above your knees. You're going to press through your heels, bringing your glutes towards the sky. You're going to, at the top of this motion, pull your knees apart to create that abduction for your side glute. to a seated hip abduction for one minute. You wanna have the resistance band just above your knee, so just in your mid thigh area, and you wanna have your feet about hip width apart. You want your arms behind you and you wanna pull your chest up towards the sky, kind of creating a little bit of an arch in your low back. You want to pull your knees apart from each other and allow your feet to roll on to their outer edges and you'll really feel this in your side glute and all along the side of your thigh. to leg lifts for 30 seconds into frog lifts for 30 seconds you want the resistance band again just above your knee you want to lift your one leg up towards the ceiling squeezing that glute then you're going to do the same for the other leg for 30 seconds After that you're going to put your feet together turn your knees apart from each other and you're going to press your feet together as you lift your thighs off the floor squeezing from your glutes the last thing we are doing are squat jumps in and out for 20 seconds what you want to do is do jump squats but you're going to change your feet position from a narrow stance squat to a sumo squat back and forth each time you jump today's at home workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try this and it actually works for you. This is what we look like right now after the pump. My hips are feeling really pumped right now. I've worked a lot on my hips. This is what my glutes are looking like.
you all back here next Tuesday for our next workout. All that being said, go ahead and like this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.